Hey folks, welcome back. I'm gonna do a quick tip today on setting your pickup height. This is a 1989 Squire Bullet, uh, made in Korea, and uh, it's a pretty cool little little design. It's uh, smaller than a standard Strat, uh, probably both length and width, but definitely width, and uh, has pretty much exactly the same pickups. And so I'm gonna use Stratocaster specs to set the pickup height. Pickup height on a standard Stratocaster is usually 564 on the base side and 464 on the treble side. And um, I'll show you how to set that across the board. Okay, so something to note about before we set this pickup height is that you definitely want to make sure that your neck relief is adjusted first and your bridge height, uh, your action is set appropriately. Once those two things are done, then you know you can set your pickup height appropriately. And um, like I said, the spec for a Fender, at least an American or Mexican sort of uh, Fender style, modern Fender, is uh, 5 ths on the bass side and 4 ths on the treble side. Now, you can get yourself a ruler, and, and you know, a ruler that actually has 60 fourths on it, and uh, you know, you can use that um, holding it up to your pickups and actually measuring the height. But that gets to be a little bit cumbersome. And so what I use instead are sets of Allen wrenches um, that are the appropriate size. So I've got one here that's 5 64ths and one that's 4 64ths. So the only tools that you're gonna need to set your pickup heights are the Allen wrenches, if this is the, the route you choose, the ruler, if that's the route you choose, and a screwdriver and just use whatever type of screw that your pickups have. When I say 5 64 on the bass side and 4 64 on the treble side, I don't mean when the strings are at their normal height. What you want to do is set these with the last fret fretted um, and you want to set um, only on the E strings basically. So when I'm measuring my pickup height for the bass side, I fret this um, string on the last fret and then I measure whether or not I have space in between the last pull piece and the string. Um, there's quite a bit of space here and uh, I'm just going to let my Allen wrench float on that string and adjust this until it comes up to the ne needed height. What you want is you want it to come just up to the tip of the string and uh, not any farther. So you want a slight amount of drag when you pull the Allen wrench out. Like I said, the string just touches the Allen wrench. So if you get a slight amount of drag when you're pulling that out, then you know you've got the right setting. And you don't want any space in between um, the, the top of the Allen wrench and the string. Same, it works the same on the treble side. This pull piece happens to be recessed just a little bit into those pickup covers, which is making it harder on me. Um, so I'm going to have to hold this and, and adjust at the same time. Okay. So it works the same on, the, on all three, but you might realize that when you fret the string at this last fret, this pickup ends up being a little bit different distance from the string than this pickup does. And that's just because um, as you go further up toward the bridge, the pickup should be higher because the angle is heading down on the string as it goes toward this fret when it's fretted. These happen to be very low. A little bit more. That's perfect. You may wonder also why do the uh, treble side strings have a closer spec than the bass side strings? And if you think about it, it's just mass. There also may be a difference in the amount that the string moves when it vibrates, but I think mainly mass is, is the reason. Okay, so that's it, and if you can see it, you'll notice this one is in farther than, than this one, and that's exactly what I was talking about with the angle of the string. Um, and uh, 
basically the 564 on this side and 464 on this side is a starting point. If uh, it doesn't sound right to your ear or if one of the pickups is louder than another one, then you adjust it according to your ear and your preference. But this will at least get the guitar at a starting point where if you're selling it or if you're setting it up for someone else, um, then it'll put them in the best position to adjust it to their taste. Thanks again, folks. Uh, if you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you all watching. Thanks.